Hi you guys, I decided it's Friday morning. Um, it's already 8 o'clock, unfortunately. Um, I decided that while I'm working on some already soaking wet for the day. Yay, dishes. Um, decided that I'm going to attempt to get biscuits made um, for the teachers and finish their little goodie bag things. Well, buckets. Um, I'm not afraid I'll talk to you guys and we just make them together while I'm doing it to give myself company. Ooh, my egg is rolling around. Um, just I'll show you guys what they look like. The pretty picture, which mine never really look like. But that's the pretty picture. Um, I want to say this one comes from the Joy of Baking website, but I'm not 100% sure. But I can look it up if you guys want the thing later. Um, trying to get everything I need out now. My biscuit cutter. Oops, sorry about that. Because I know me, I'll be digging in the drawer here shortly and my hands will be nasty. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Okay, everything else is over there. I went ahead and got everything out ahead of time. Um, the baking powder, milk, and all that stuff, so it should be out of here and you know, but have to keep walking off screen on you guys. Um, and I will warn you, this could possibly be loud, except for I did not get the milk to mix with the egg, but that's okay. That won't take long. Okay, start with. And don't ask me why I keep looking at this recipe, because I make it all the time. We need two and a half cups of flour. And I've got so much to do today, it ain't even funny. One. Um. I've got to go to the post office. I've got something that has to go out. Um, I've got to go pay the water bill because apparently I've got two water bills due this month. I paid one at the beginning of the month and I'm already having to pay another one. I don't know why. Um, I guess it is what it is. Um, don't feel like scooping it up. Um, so, i got to do that. Um, Gonna get the Jeep inspected because, well, if I don't, it's, it's gonna be out soon. Um, as I make a mess on the camera. I need to get that done. Um, and all that's after I go to my son's school and take in the cupcakes and stuff. Uh, see, I know I have to get something. Um, tablespoon of sugar. So. I get all that done. And then, if I get done school first, everything else, uh, those that I already said after that, I also have to go by the therapy office and figure out what I need to do to take him out of therapy. Um, I've got to take and um, run by the dollar store. I started to work on his cake yesterday. Well, I said, honey cut cake wrappers. As much as I would love to do the pirate ship, I think it would be awesome. It would be an awesome challenge, too. Um, I don't want all that cake left in my house because we are not going to have enough people here to eat all of it. So instead, I'm going to do cupcakes and that way I can send a bunch of them with the uh, leftover. Um, and send them with my husband to work on Monday and get them out of the house. Um, right now I'm putting the sticker butter in. Usually you'd use a pastry blender or, um, two forks. And typically you do biscuits by hand. Um, I cheat. I use my KitchenAid with a paddle attachment. I let it mix all the dry and then I just cut off um, little chunks of a stick of butter that just come out of the fridge and drop them in there and let the um, paddle attachment do all the work for me. Um, I get to keep my hands clean that way from dealing with all the mess. And well, I don't like the pastry blender because it just doesn't work real well for me either. Um, but I have found that I can use the KitchenAid and it works awesomely to do this. So that's what I'll do. No shortcut. And it's more faster in my opinion. Because I've already done all the better in there. So, that out of the way, my egg shell will match a little bit. And
So turn that up just a little. Okay, now that it's nice and kind of funky and crumbly, um, we're going to do the egg and the milk. Those in. Yeah, I'm supposed to beat the egg as well, according to the recipe. I don't do that either. Um, yeah, I seem to have this thing against following directions real well. I don't know why. Um, that's pretty much all that goes in there. Um, it actually calls for you adding salt into the dry stuff, and it calls for. Um, unsalted butter. However, um, buying unsalted butter, in my opinion, is kind of retarded because it is more expensive. Um, because, oh, sorry, dropped the lid to the flour container. Um, I have found that I can use um, butter that is salted and omit adding the salt to the dry stuff and it works just as well. I've never had any problems. They still rise nice and fluffy and it's cheaper. Um, let me get on the oven if I turn it on thing. Um, the Can't get my oven to go right. There we go. Sorry about that. I couldn't get the oven in the right spot. Um, like with, I want to say, I don't know about where you live, but where I live, unsalted butter is well over a dollar a thing, if not a couple dollars. I don't know. I don't look at it anymore. Um, I quit looking. But I can get sticks of regular butter. Um, I want to say they're blue bottom, if I remember correctly. For 99 cents a pack of four. Um, almost any day of the week. Because somewhere, somebody seems to always have them on sale. Um, typically, it's, I get them either at um, Food Lion or Piggly Wiggly. And I typically, when, I, when they are on sale, I get um, five or six dollars worth at a time. So five or six packages. Because I just prefer using stick butter on my breads and stuff. Like for this, it's easier to measure. Um, in any instance, it's easier to measure. Um, then the tub stuff, I save the tubs for like if we have baked potatoes or something like that, I'll scoop some of that out into a bowl for that purpose. Um, but like when I make a loaf of bread, I, I half the time like to take, um, a stick of butter at the very end when I'm done and, um, rub the top of it. To give it that butter flavor and I just know from first-hand experience that you, know, you can melt butter in the microwave and then brush it all over the top and get the same effect but that's more work I gotta make a second set of this too just so you know I only got ingredients out for one but I have to make two sets um, so I didn't think they can they um, 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 I lost what I was going to say. It happens a lot, doesn't it? Um, oh, yeah, um, talking about butter. You know, I could melt it and I could brush it on and all that happy, happy stuff, but, um, don't know about you, but I kind of have, usually have a lot of stuff going on. Um, and don't feel like having to put it in the microwave and then wait for it to melt and cool down a little bit so I can brush it. No, I don't have time for all that. Um, I instead take a stick of bread on fresh, hot out of the oven, um, bread and just pick the thing up and just rub it across the top of it and it melts right into it. And makes it just nice and lovely and good to go. Um, I would show you this, but if I put this down, move the computer down, I get it covered. So I'm not. I'll show you one of these biscuits that I cut it. I'll kind of show you guys. 
Um, this dough takes no time. It took me 10 minutes because we're now at the 10 minute mark. So it roughly took me 10 minutes to get this biscuit dough made. Pat out. And you can, I've actually used like cookie cutters, but I actually have bought a biscuit cutter um, because I like it. Um, you can use cookie cutters, glass, pretty much anything. Um, and extra. We have a biscuit, and my pans are already sitting here waiting on me. Um, it yeah, it takes no time to make this this stuff. Um, my kids love these, especially with jelly. That's like their favorite thing in the world. Um, matter of fact, we might have these in the morning for breakfast because I've got to have a quick breakfast in the morning. And of course, right now my dough is sticking. Um, trying to keep somewhat pretty, oh, I'm sorry, somewhat pretty biscuits because these are going to their teachers. It's not like when they're here, we could care less what they look like because we know what they taste like. I want them to at least look like biscuits. Yay! Um, I'll let you, the, it varies how many I can get out of these. The recipe, I want to say, says you can get 10 um, half inch or something biscuits out of it. I don't really remember. Um, I typically seem to get right at 12 standard biscuits. Um, I think a lot of it depends on what size cutter you're using as well. I usually can get um, a dozen biscuits from the dough. Um, get a dozen biscuits plus one little bitty scrap biscuit, which my youngest calls the baby biscuit. That is his biscuit. He'll eat a big one too, but he calls the baby one his. He actually comes in to ask me if I made his biscuit. Or he'll come in to help me when we get down to the ends. He says I have to give him all the scrap stuff so he can make his biscuit. Um, which is quite cute all in itself. But this is one of those things he loves to do because it's so simple. Once you get everything mixed, a kid can actually help you. It's like playing with Play-Doh. Just push it out, cut it, put it on a pan. It's very easy to do. You've already got eight biscuits on the pan. There's none. Ew, they're starting to stick on the bottom. Flowers. I didn't put enough flour down, I don't think. Three, six, nine, eleven. And I've still got a whole ball to go. So I see this time I'm getting more than. Um, it all depends on the size, and I typically use this one. The size um, cutter that you use and how much padding you do to how thin you make them or how thick you make them. Um, just it all varies. I've got to make room for extra biscuits on this pan because I'm trying to do one pan for each teacher, but I am going to make sure that there is an even number. Um, either way. So we are at a baker's dozen already, um, which is normal for me. Normally I get 12 full size and just one baby one, but that's still a lot to go. I guess this time somehow I'm making them thinner than I normally do. I don't know. Okay, so we ended up 3, 6, 9, 12, with 14 full sized, and I don't think I'm going to get another full size one out of this. Um, so this is the part that would normally be his. I just kind of, this would be the one that's not going to the school. Um, I'll just save these and have them with lunch or something. These will be part of my lunch. But that'll be that one. I'm going to slide these over, 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 over. The good thing about this is they can be somewhat close. Um, like, see, this is how many is on the pan. That's okay that they're that close, mainly because of the fact, let's put these over here. Um, mainly because of the simple fact that they don't massively get huge on the pan. I'm going to wash my hands. these. Um, they don't get massively huge on the pan, so it's not going to hurt them. Um, they'll puff up some, and they'll like be touching it, it's almost hurt, but 
bowl that I could use but I don't have another one of these so I have one granted if my mom and them do do get this do get me another KitchenAid fixer then guess what I'll have two of each and it will be so much faster and I can do so much more stuff because then I'll have four bowls because I have this one with the handle which my mom bought me as a Christmas present because I wanted a bigger one and I want a handle I'll have my original one that came with my mixer um, which had no handle and then I'll have this bowl that comes with the new mixer, as well as um, the new glass bowl. I'll be able to do lots of stuff. Um, so I can't wait. Today, my mixer is being very nice, and it's not making a bunch of terrible, terrible noises um, as I'm using it. Not yet, anyway. Um, and I warn you now, this video is already sitting over 15 minutes long. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to cheat. And I'm going to finish the video here in a little bit. And when I finish it, I'm going to... It's not going to be really finished until I get um, all the biscuits out in their bowls buckets with the jelly and everything. Um, and then I'm going to cheat. I'm going to let it upload while I'm gone doing everything else. Um, I'm not even going to put my mess up yet because i got to make another set. I've got two teachers. Um, I know what the recipe, but I'm just going to, I prefer keeping up with it just because I'm worried. I'll always worry I'm going to mess something up. Um, the only one that I don't look at the recipe for anymore is when I make the IHOP copycat pancakes. Because I have that one memorized because I've done it so, so much. Half a cup. Keep it sticking in the flour. There's one. Half a cup. There's two. And I know I could technically use, pull down the um, one cup measure and do this a lot faster, but you know, I just don't tend to do that. So, that really hurt. Put my elbow on the other pan we're going to use for biscuits. That. Ugh. Unfortunately, I have no more cold butter. Let's do this. I have some sitting out. I'm going to pop it in the freezer. Um, my freezer typically. Uh, I guess I should put it in the quick freeze section. That would probably be helpful. Let's not put that in the ice bin though because I can't feel kind of slimy. My husband might get a little upset if he ends up with slimy <clears throat> ice in his um tank later. Okay, there's the three fourths of the milk that we were needing. The egg. And now I'm going to that nope, doesn't hold right there, and I am going to do this while I'm thinking about it because I was fixing to forget. We'll grab one of these, put the egg in there. In case you're wondering, I'm making the little topping that goes on there. Um, okay. I've got to mix egg with a little bit of milk for those, and we'll grab that real quick while I'm over here. That way, I'm not out of screen for you guys too, too much. Okay. All right. This is our topping. It's um, about a tablespoon of milk and an egg. Now, 
One more right here. A tablespoon of sugar. Sorry, I am just hitting everything at the moment. I don't know what is up with me. Any? I guess I'm just losing my mind today. Okay. Baking powder. Maybe I need a half. Just one and a half, right? No, two and a half. One, two. All right, then. Now, on our attachment, let it do its thing. But as you can tell, see how quick it goes? It's really super quick. Um, I forgot I had this flour, which is my rolling flour. I'm going to put this down this time. It's actually been sifted, so it'll actually probably work a little better. Um, there we go. Okay, that's done. Let's put our egg into this milk, which is going to go into our mixture here in just a minute. Okay, we have that done. Let's check this other butter. really bites because it's still not hardening up so what we're going to do is we're going to do this we're going to work on this egg mixture and go ahead and get those covered my goal was to get them all done at the same time we're just going to use this little bitty brush because I don't know where my other one's at my kids put the dishes away after I washed them so I'm not sure what they did with it it's in one of the four different drawers so we're going to just kind of Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Like that. Put that in that way. That in the dishwasher. I'm trying to keep it kind of clean as I go. Um, I'm really like keeping it a little better because I'm hoping that it would like harden up pretty quick. Sadly, it's not really doing that. Um, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to go see if I got more out in the fridge. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I have one box left. This is what I get. I get the blue bonnet light, but they also have the regular. Um, that's just 99 cents all the time. I already put my case nice in there, so let's get another one. Um, which made it easy for me because I already think I had a box out there. I didn't have to wait for this stuff to get cold because we are sitting at 8.30. And I was hoping to have these done by now in the oven wire. But I'm slow today, I guess. So, it's going to be a little bit later of a start than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm trying to prevent a really late night being awake trying to do stuff for tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking my kids are going to have to like really pitch in and help out tonight so we can get everything done in time. Um, we don't have a lot of people coming over. It's my parents and two family friends. So that's coming over. Um, but I'm one of those that even if it was just my parents coming over, um, I feel like my house is never clean enough. And so before anybody comes over, I always make sure I've got all the sweeping and mopping and everything is just totally as clean as I could possibly get it. Or I clean until the point that I'm just totally exhausted and I give up and say I've had enough. Um, which typically is the case by, by the time I get done. That's done. We're going to add in the liquids. Um... Okay, this in the dishwasher because this is the last set of this I am making. I am not making another set. Um, I just don't have it in me to make another set, thankfully. I'm going to hold the mixer down for a minute because it wants to pop up because I don't have it locked. Got it all. Oh, we're good. We can pull this off. I am just now starting to get hungry, which always sucks because I'm doing something. Um, so, I love how easily this stuff comes off of this as well. Um, 
I like to try to save as much of it as I can. That way I can get as many biscuits out of it as I can. Um, my goal is that each teacher at least get a dozen biscuits. Um, I know his main teacher is married. I'm not sure about the assistant teacher. Um, I, I don't know. So I figure if I do a dozen for each of them, that should be more than enough to take home and share if there are people in the home. Um, now I know his main teacher is married. I do not know if her husband is deployed or not. That I don't know. So if not, they just have a dozen biscuits. And as long as they keep them covered, they'll last all weekend. And that'll give them fresh bread biscuits all weekend. Sorry, as I go, I'm trying to put stuff in the dishwasher because <laughs> the one woman has to does it, do it. And the sooner I get it done, filled, the sooner I can get it washed. Have everything ready for the next set of stuff. Um, sorry about all the dinging. I get emails and stuff, and my phone and iPod seem to, or iPad always seem to be with me, so they ding all the time. Okay. Flour. This this dough feels a lot harder than the last dough. Hopefully, it still works out really well. Um, so for the spots where it's really sticky and is massively sticking to my hands. Try to flower me up a little bit. Okay. It's crumbly in some spots and not so in others. I don't know why. It's the exact same recipe. Um, this dough was stiffer than the last. That is for sure. Pick it up and move the flour around. Gotta make sure I keep the thing floured so we don't have um, biscuit dough stick into my counter. This dough feels a lot harder, a lot stiffer, which means it's probably going to be more dense inside when I get biscuits. And so, since they're going to be more dense, oh, there's a big old chunk of butter right there. Um, I'm going to have to try to make these a little thinner, I've got a feeling. Okay. And what I may do is because those didn't feel as dense, I might like, mix the two batches up so that way some will be, if there are denser, it'll be kind of balanced between the two. Because like this dough is massive. Kind of, see, it's a little bit You have to fill it to know it. Um, they feel a lot denser. So. We'll see how they come out, I guess. Oops, as I cut off part of one biscuit into another biscuit. It's okay though. Yeah, these are like, uh, these are just not going to be as pretty as the others. But the fact that they're homemade, I kind of like the rustic thing. I got to get over the whole, they've got to be perfect kind of thing when I give stuff to people. Um, they're just, they're going to be more rustic. They'll still taste good. As far as I know, I put everything in them. <clears throat> yeah, I do fry it sometimes. Um, okay. And the dough is sticking to the counter. Um, I do have a mat that I could actually put this on to roll it and everything else to keep it from sticking to my counter. I just tend to never use them. Mainly because then the mats want to slide and stuff sometimes. And I quite frankly really don't mind just cleaning the counter. Um, this is nothing that's going to damage the counters. Not that it would really matter on these counters. But the biscuit cutter's not going to do any major damage to it. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I'm having to cut less of these at a time just because it is denser. I can feel it. Or at none. gives me 10. See, this time I'll be, because it's, I guess, dense, and no matter what I do, it's not coming out quite as pretty. Um, I'll be doing it to get 12. So it's a good thing that one made extra. Uh. 
three, six, nine. There's getting there. Need at least one more decent one. Yay, I got exactly 12. So I got the 12. And then the scrap. And what I'll do is I'll actually probably pop this one open when they first come out. And if, depending on how dense this one is, give me an idea about those. So, like that. It's nice and kind of ugly, but that's okay. Yay. While well, I was out in the garage, I also got out meat for minestrone soup in a little bit. Yay. Um, washed my hands off. Of course, I left the towel over there. There you go. Too bad you can't bring it to me, huh? I'm going to rinse off some of the dough. I'll scrub that it's really good. It's up here a minute. Well, I am totally done because I've still got to get back into the flour mixture on the counter and clean all that up. So I'm not going to totally scrub up. I'll save that for the very end. I just need somewhat clean hands so I can hold these pans and not drop them. So, we're going to take these. We're going to take our eggy mixture and just paint them on the tops. This just helps them get nice and golden brown and pretty. And I'm going to set the timer this time so I don't do like I did last time. My son helps me and he massively painted them. And we let them cook a little bit longer, which was a, my normal time for letting them cook. Um, and we kind of burnt them. So I'm only going to set the timer. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes this time, which is the lower end of the baking time for these. And the upper time is roughly 12. So we'll set it for 10 and then start watching them from there. So we end up with some pretty ones. So around. Um, I think it's 10 minutes. I don't know. I have to look. It could be longer than that. I don't remember. I don't know. Usually I just let my nose tell me when they're ready. That could be another reason too. Okay, almost done. I got four more to paint in this pan and then the other pan, which I'll spare you from having to watch me do because, well, I'm sure it's not very interesting. But roughly, if we've been doing it this for, okay, well, we started at 8. It's now 8.42 according to that clock. So in 42 minutes, in between my having to run out in the garage, we have gotten two sets of biscuits made. Um, pop those out there, sit for a second. So one set, you can have a set of biscuits done and ready and to go, put in the oven in a good 10 minutes. It's taking me a lot longer because I've had to run around my house, finding my butter and stuff. They just Typically, when I do breakfast, I will make these, pop them in the oven, cook the sausage and the eggs and everything. And by the time I am done, that's on the cast. By the time I am done with the um, sausage and eggs, or bacon and eggs, or whatever meat I'm cooking, and eggs, the biscuits are done, and we are ready to eat, um, which makes them really good. These are getting nice and fluffy already. I can see I'm starting to puff. Okay. Ooh, I left the pizza stone in my oven. I'm going to pull that pizza stone out. I'm going to put both pans in. My pizza stone has handles on it, so I can't just, if I sit the pans in there, I have to kind of sit on top of it, which typically I do for our biscuits, but since these are not for us, I'm going to, um, have to pull that so I can try to get some nice pretty biscuits. Plus, I'm going to have to do the cupcakes here in a little bit. And so I'm going to need both things. And then we have extra egg. That'll be lunch today. Eggs and a little milk. So I'll see you guys here shortly. Okay, so the biscuits are in the oven and they happen while we were all apart. I cleaned up my mess 
Got dishes and dishwasher. Um, wash these spoons and knives that I'm giving the teachers. I'm going to leave the little tags on there. Some people, you know, may not be as um, keen on getting things like that that are, they may think is used. So this way they know. We've got their little buckets. Got their little towels. So I'm going to detach these. We're going to finish getting these ready while this gets off finishing. Ooh, I hope I didn't just tear that. Oh, I didn't. Okay. thought I tore the towel. But it wasn't. It was just plastic. Okay. So, put the blue towel. Ooh, these towels might actually be big enough to do it all by itself. We are going to put in a watermelon jelly on one end. I'm going to put in a blueberry butter on the other, and then try to stick a dozen biscuits in the middle. For now, I'm going to hold on to these because we may not need those. These balloons are actually bigger than I thought. Maybe it's just the bucket size, I don't know. Usually in my bowls, ooh, I have to um, use two or off the towel and a wash eye kind of thing. Um, looks like on these, I may not have to. Okay. All the little plasticky pieces. Let's put watermelon on one end, blueberry butter on the other, towel over, a push down in the middle, um, spoon, and a nice thing. I'll wait till I get the biscuits in there so I can just kind of stand those up at an angle on the sides. So, you check the biscuits. I'm going to flip the biscuits and put the top ones on the bottom and the bottom ones on the top. Because of how they're baking. My ones that were on the top that are now on the bottom are almost done. And they will go in here hot because I'm not massively worried about it. Um, so that's how it'll be. I'm going to... You're not going to see me put them in here because that would be kind of pointless. But I will take a picture once I get the baskets all closed up and ready to go. I will add this to the end of it. And then I'll let the video, all of this upload while I go run errands because it's going to take it a while. And then I'll see you guys later.